And um, we could use Viper in a number of different ways to choose which greeting cards to launch because of the flexibility that the platform has. We can ask uh, a number of different question types. From that, we can decide whether our suggested new product is ranking better than a current product that we may have or a competitor product, for example. So really, we're, we're able to use Viper in, in such a flexible way to make sure we're asking the right question and to give us confidence that we know we're launching the right product. Viper allows us to analyse the risk of products before bringing it to market. That means that we're making smarter decisions along the way and that we are making sure that we have more successful products within the collection that have been tested prior to bringing it to market. It just means that we're using data and insights to drive better decisions and create better products, therefore ensuring that we can provide consumers with what they really want. Ultimately that means that we're able to sell more greeting cards and generate more more cash um, and profit as a result of that. Effectively, we've just got a completely different looking business now. Um, it's been completely embraced and adopted throughout the business. Um, it's been used by primarily creative and product, but also commercial teams as well. So we're now a much more consumer insight driven business as a result of that. I think Viper will change how we gather insights by basically allowing the consumer to have more of a seat at that table um, when we make decisions. I think that over the next 12 months we're only going to keep um, improving and moving forwards in how we use Viper and how we're embedding it within the business. But I'm, I'm really excited to see what the future holds and, and also carrying on working with the, the Viper team as well because they're, they're so helpful.